What up, world? Welcome to another episode of RMT. That's Real Man Talk. It's your boy, Stan the Man, coming to you with another great conversation piece on today. And before we get started, I want to thank you for joining me here on RMT. So let's go ahead and get into it today. We're going to talk about being overlooked and underappreciated. Being overlooked and underappreciated. And we know being overlooked can give us feelings of doubt. Also, it can make us feel insecure in a way for being overlooked. And sometimes we can feel like we're not worthy when we're being overlooked by certain people, certain organizations, or we didn't get a certain award that we felt like we should get. We didn't get the recognition that we thought we should have. All those things can make us feel some type of way. Do you agree? But I want to tell you this today, that being overlooked doesn't define who you are. It doesn't. People that overlook you, it don't define who you are. Awards that you didn't receive, it doesn't define who you are. What people might have said about you doesn't define who you are. And also, it doesn't. Also, it doesn't determine. Also, it doesn't determine your worth or your capabilities. In fact, I believe that being overlooked can be a great motivator. I'm telling you, being overlooked can be a great motivator to push you to get to the next level. And it can give you that extra little push for you to work harder, work you to work smarter in order to prove to the world who you are and what you're capable of and ultimately lead lead you to success. Think about some of the most powerful, successful people now that they was overlooked. All right, so I got a couple of notes here, man. And um, you think about Michael Jordan, right? Michael Jordan... The greatest basketball player that ever lived, he was overlooked. Going into um, his high school year, let me make sure I got this right. Michael Jordan, yeah, going into his high school year, he didn't get picked for the varsity team. Now, just think about this. The coaches that was coaching that year on that particular team, they going down they looking down the roster, and they didn't know that they had a legend on the team. But I think, now I might be wrong, but this is just my thinking. I'm thinking if Mike would have got put on the varsity team, well, he still would have became Michael Jordan if he got picked to be on the varsity team. But him being overlooked right, right then and there, he got everything he need. He got that motivation, he got that drive that he need within that moment, that feeling that I knew, that I know that I'm better than what they say that I am. As a matter of fact, I'm finna go work harder. I already was working hard. Now I'm about to go even harder than what I was going at first in order to show the world how great I am. And that's what he did. He went to work. He practiced and practiced and practiced in order to get to the level that he at now. And right now, Michael Jordan is one of the most well-known basketball figures in world history, in in, in the entire world. Anybody that can recognize basketball can put Michael Jordan with it, right? And so that's just some, um, that's just, uh, that's just an example that I want to show you that how being overlooked can really drive you, right? So, Hold on, I got, and let, let's just, let me give you one more example. We talked about Jordan. Let me talk about David. You know, David and go live. David killed, go live with a stone, right, in the slingshot. That David. But that David, at the time, people didn't know David was going to be who he was, right? And it was a man of God named Samuel that went to his father, Jesse. Jesse had seven sons. And Jesse was like, okay, Samuel, you come here to anoint a king. 
That was Samuel's purpose was to go to Jesse and anoint a king because God led him to go to Jesse to anoint the next king. So once Samuel got there, and he saw all his sons. He Jesse brought his his oldest son first, and you know went down the line. Cause in the tradition, the oldest son get the blessing first, and then it goes on from gen from um from youngest. I mean from oldest to the youngest. Okay, so he brought his 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 um uh, oldest son. Nope. Samuel kept on going through the first six sons. He was like, nah, that's 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 not it. That's not that's not who I'm looking for. Out of six people, David was overlooked. Six people. Before they even got to him or even thought about him, he was like an afterthought. He was like an afterthought. Hey. And even though he was an afterthought, he was still being overlooked, but he was the one of favor. So let me let, let me tell you this. Man can always overlook you. Man can always pick somebody else or think somebody else is better. But what God has for you, what God going to do for you is going to be for you. And it's going to never go over your head or you're never going to get overlooked for what God wants for you. But man definitely will look over you, look over you just like they did with David. Looked over David. They didn't really want to show the appreciation with, for David because he was the youngest, right? And and some it's a young person that's watching this right now that think because I'm young, everybody think that I don't have the capability to do what I have to do to take care of my family. Think that I'm young, I don't have the understanding on how I need to build this business. Because I'm young, they don't think I know how to take care of myself or how to handle myself in certain situations. And that's not the case. Just because you're young don't mean that you're stupid or you don't understand. A lot of people, a lot of older people are just haters. And they want to look over you because they know their time is almost up and it's time for them to get out the way. <laughs> it's time for them to get out the way. And they get upset about that. And 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 this is the thing. The, the overlooked and you being unappreciated is like if we go, let's just take this a second. And, and I'm going to talk to the fellas. I'm sorry, ladies. I'm going to talk to the fellas first. You being a man of the house and you doing everything that you need to do. You working hard. You being faithful. Make sure you pay your bills. You pay your bills on time. Make sure everything that's in the household is being done, but yet a couple of things that you might ask for or something that you might want to be done, it doesn't get done. Somebody, they, they, they looking over that. They don't appreciate or value you being there and the sacrifices that you're making. Even a, even a, um, the mothers, I, I'm single mothers, I'm going to show you some love, but this is real men talk. But even with the single mothers, you out there doing it on your own. Right. You might be getting child support or you might be getting some government assistance. Some of y'all are not, but you getting a little child support, but you got child care. You got to get these children to and from not only child care, they events if they play basketball, football, um, gymnastics, um, any extracurriculum activity that you have them in. They got to be able to get back and forth. Also, you have to be able to pay for those things. Some of them might be free, but some of them you have to pay for them. And you trying to not only feed your children, but also supply them with some of the things that activities that they want to do. And you might sacrifice a lot of your life, a lot of your career and a lot of things you want to do in order for them to be successful. And it seemed like at the time they don't appreciate it because they might not be listening to you. They might not take heed to what you're telling them to do. They might be hard here. They might be getting in trouble and not showing appreciation that you think that you should be shown. And a lot of times we overlook those parents or overlook these type of people because the appreciation might go or you might look to somebody that's the uh, society or look to 
who getting the most attention and who in the spotlight, right? Who getting the most attention and who in the spotlight? That's who we want to look look to. That's who we want to appreciate the person that's in front, the person that we think that's doing it, or the person that might be doing it. But it might be somebody in the in the background. Just think about this. Even though Jordan is the player, right? And he's the brand. Who's behind him building the brand? Who came up with the Jordan symbol? Who came up with the iconic um, shoes that come come out? Who came up with that? It's somebody always in the background that's working that don't nobody, they overlooking them. They don't appreciate them because they in the back working. But I'll tell you this. All good operation, whether it's a business, it's a marriage. All good operations that's going on, when that main person leave, it's going to be a change within the business or in the relationship. And when you have something close to you, when you have people that are amazing, that do the work, you don't even ask them to do it. They just go and do the things just because that's what type of person that they are. They want to see you succeed. They want to see you doing well. And because they are that type of person, you don't have to fight. You don't have to argue with them. They just go and get it done. And a lot of times when we have people around us that just do it just because we start to, we start to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? We start to, we start not to appreciate them. We start to overlook and not appreciate what they bring to it. We, this not as valuable to us because we always got it. We always got it. It's just normal to us now because they just going to do that. We have stopped being appreciative of the things that they are doing or what they are doing or what they have done. We don't appreciate it no more because it's so normal to us. But once that is removed from us, then we understand, dang, I miss them now. I miss that now because those little small details, you don't see it until it's gone. You don't see those things until it's gone. So I'm going to tell you this and I ain't going to take up too much of your time. You might be overlooking and underappreciating somebody in your life. You might be overlooking and underappreciate the, your health or things that you have going on right now. But I'm going to tell you now, you might, you, you might not appreciate it now, but once something happened, then that's when you'll look at it. That's when you'll appreciate it. Right? So, with that being said, I might do a part two to this, but I thank y'all for tuning in and give me a little small part of your time, whether it's the morning, evening, or night. I appreciate you for tuning in. Also, you want to get social with me. You can look me up on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Real Men Talk Podcast. Also, if you want to fool with Stan the Man, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Stanley Nash Jr. Hit me up, like, comment, subscribe, show your boy some love. Also, is there anything that y'all want to hear me talk about? Any guests you want me to bring on, let me know. You can inbox me on any of the social media um, outlets or you can drop a comment down below. If you like this, if you don't like this, peace. I'll see y'all next week. Peace. All right.